Hey guys, it's me. I still sound congested, but I don't have no straps in, and I don't, I am due for my medicine right now, so. I think by tomorrow I'll be fine. Here's all, look at how many of these are. That's a lot. I'm just gonna be like this tomorrow. And then I'm gonna take one and be like, I would have been doing speak now if this was tomorrow, but it's not. It's just fun to shake it and see which one to get. I have like four all too wells in here because you guys like want to hear that one. And if this happens, like two can join it together because I read them on sticky notes, all I'll do is I'll just draw again. And if it happens, you know, I need to fix these. Okay. Anyways. That's my break. I made, <coughs> I made this in math t yesterday. Forgot to show you. I put Taylor Swift, put a song, and then songs all around it. I was really bored. Not, no offense to Taylor. So today, I'm going to tell you guys about my Speak Now World Tour experience. So, it was August 6th. 2011. Uh, we spent the day in Philly. Oh my god. I gotta tell you a story. At the very end. Okay. Hold on. So, it was my first Taylor concert. And I loved it. Hold on. You know what would make this better? If I actually turned on Speak Now right now. It's going to have to be karaoke because my other one is out in the car. So. To begin. Again, um, it, I was like, we got back to the hotel room after we went to see the Liberty Bell and all, and uh, I was like, Dad, we need to get out of here, we need to get out of here, we need to get out of here. It was like 3 o'clock, and yeah, I, we were, actually, because it was different last time, because last time the merchandise was outside. Now, I don't know if it was because the, uh, we were at a stadium and I've only been to arenas for the Red Tour. So it was outside and it was sprinkling, but we stood there and got merchandise. I got, let's see if I can remember everything. I got my first Afghan. I got a t-shirt, the red one that I sometimes wear that says Speak Now with that. Uh, yeah. I got a lot at that concert. Oh, I got my Taylor Bear. Let's see what else. I know I got other stuff, but it was a long time ago. Anyways. Okay, so I was wearing. My mom had gotten me my first Taylor shirt. And it was. It's actually one I wore the other day. It still fits me. That's a good sign. Uh. It's a guitar, and it had, uh, Taylor Swift, like, mine lyrics, what a coincidence, and I had black, uh, capris on, and I made a little sign, and it is actually right over there. Why this thing is in black one? I just noticed all the songs around it, and I said I would be in chain to meet you. Taco. Okay. So got my 
merchandise. We went to our seats. I was actually going to get a CoverGirl makeover, but the line was like from here all the way down the block and back a million times. So I didn't get to do that. Uh, me and this, because we were like in the way top, but that was okay because we actually did not purchase the tickets. Uh, here's what happened. So my mom, she works for, I'm not going to say, a company, and we were at Lincoln Financial Field, and they're sponsors of that, so they knew I was a big fan of Taylor, and they got me tickets. So we were like in the way top, but I could still see her, like, yeah, she looked like an aunt, but I was watching her every move. So it was really funny because, um... We were playing like cover girl commercials before, and me and this girl behind me were like, oh my god! And it was just a cover girl commercial, and it was hilarious. Like, I was weak. I feel like you guys can't hear me, sorry. Okay, so then Hunter Hayes actually played his first stadium that night, which was really cool. And, uh, he was pretty cool. He's so cute. Um, and then I can, I can say the speech, but I have to have no music, so let me pause it. It said, your life is a funny thing. I think most of us see ourselves at the end of our lives regretting the moments we didn't speak up. The moments they, you didn't say I love you. you the moments you didn't say I'm sorry. So there's a time for silence, and there's a time for waiting your turn. But if you clearly know what you need to say, you know it. I don't think you should wait. I think you should speak now. And I'm going to put this in a part two, because it's going to be long after this, so bye!